everybody. I'm Natalia Bonner. Today we're going to party. Wait. Today we're going to stitch like it's 1999. Oh wait, we're quilting. Okay, today we're going to quilt with the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler like it's day 99. Can you believe we've made it to 99 blocks already? I'm beyond proud of all of us for making it this far. We only have 266 more designs to go. We can do it! Anyways, this is the 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler that I will be using today. You can see I've got a little bit of the Westerly stable tape on this ruler. In the video, I'm not necessarily always using stable tape on my rulers. And why am I not? Well, I do a lot of ruler work and because I do, I feel like I have pretty great control over my machine quilting rulers. I can hold them really stable. But it is a kind of a difficult thing to do when you're starting out. So by adding a little bit of this stable tape to the back of your rulers, it just kind of grabs onto your quilt and helps you hold things nice and still. So it's something I very highly recommend. And we have that available for purchase over on our website, peaceandquilt.com. All right, let's get stitching like it's 1999. I'll begin by using my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler and stitching in the ditch around the outside of the block. Once I reach the bottom left corner where I've started, then I'm going to stitch an X through the center of the block. So from the bottom left to the upper right corner, then across the top of the block, then from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. Once I reach the bottom right corner, I'm going to travel back up my previous stitch line, so up that angular line, traveling up one inch. Now I'll use just the markings on my 4-in-1 machine quilting ruler to measure the one inch increment. From there, I'm going to stitch point to point a one inch line, creating a small box on the inside of my block all the way around on all four sides of the block. From there, after I've stitched that inside square, now I'm going to travel along again my previous stitch line to the center of that bottom line where I'll stitch a straight line from the bottom to the top through the center of that small square on the block. When I reach the top, I'll again travel along my previous stitch line to the right hand side of the stitch line, travel down that ditch to the center point again where I'll stitch another line right through the center of that inside block. From there, I'll finish my stitching and I've got a beautiful design. friends. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and found a little bit of inspiration with my machine quilting. Now just remember, you can pick up the panel, the rulers, the thread, all of the notions that I'm using in this video today over on my website, peaceandquilt.com. And don't forget to share your progress pictures over on Instagram using the hashtag Let's Stitch with Natalia. That's where we will be selecting winners for weekly prizes. See you all tomorrow! Thank you.